I'm Ruben, and this is Tech Enthusiast. Welcome to Tech Enthusiast. This channel is all about the exciting tech that can help you work and play smarter, not harder. So today we're going to talk for just a couple of minutes about vacuum maintenance, specifically robot vacuum maintenance. So of course, if you've made uh, the considerable investment into robot vacuums, you want to make sure you're maintaining these things pretty consistently. The key to having these last a long time is to make sure that you are consistently uh, maintaining them. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to kind of review with you. Um, and the thing is, you want to make sure that you're doing this consistently because when you do these consistently, uh, your vacuum is going to last a long time. And some of these tips are going to be specific to this particular model, but overall you can do this which, with whatever robot vacuum you might have. So come on, let's get started. So you're going to notice here, this is my Samsung PowerBot. Uh, R7070. It's considered to be a robot pet vacuum and I'll kind of go into a little more detail about what that means in a later review. But today we're going to talk about the maintenance of it. And this is something I do every week because I have this running uh, every three days or usually three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So every Saturday or Sunday, I do this quick maintenance just to make sure that everything is uh, is good to go for the next week. So first thing you always want to do when you're doing any kind of maintenance, right, is to make sure that you've turned off any kind of power switches if your vacuum has a power switch. So in this case, this vacuum has a switch on the very bottom that I like to turn off to make sure that uh, nothing happens. It's not going to start running as I'm, uh, as I'm doing the maintenance on it. So there's three main things that you always want to do whenever you're maintaining a robot vacuum. The first thing, of course, is you want to make sure that you empty the bin once a week or however long it takes to get full. You want to go ahead and make sure that you empty out all of the waste and whatever your vacuum picks up over the course of the week. So that's gonna be your step one there, all right? Pretty easy. Most robot vacuums will have a lever or a switch or something you just kind of pull out and you dump into the, uh, into the bin here, okay? Second part to this is going to be your brush roll. Now in this case, this vacuum has what's called a self-cleaning brush roll. Essentially what that means is that You've got a, uh, a system here. You've got metal teeth on this design. And, and the design will range depending on, or rather the design will vary, excuse me, depending on the kind of robot vacuum you have. But in this case, this is able to take any hair or anything that would normally wrap around the brush roll and it's able to pull it into the center and cut it into small pieces. But you will notice that even when doing that, it kind of collects in the groove of the brush roll. So what I like to do is just take, and this will work whether you have a small set of scissors like these or uh, tweezers or anything like that. You just want to go in, pull out the hair and get rid of it. So. It's always a good idea to go ahead and clean inside the brush roll area. You always want to make sure you clean the bottom where all the sensors are that keeps it from uh, going over balconies or down steps or anything like that. Depending on the kind of vacuum you have, it's, if it's got a sensor or a camera in the top, it's never a bad idea to just go ahead and clean that as well as the sensors along the front. You want to make sure there's no dust building up on these because of course it can see a lot better. Um, and the third thing that you always want to make sure you look into, of course, you've got your brush roll. We talked about that. We talked about making sure that you empty your bin pretty regularly is going to be your filter. 
this is going to make sure that your vacuum is able to run efficiently and kind of breathe very efficiently. In this case, one of the things I really like about this vacuum is it has washable filters. So essentially every week I simply take out the filter that is in the vacuum, the one that's been in for a week and, and getting all dirty. I take that out. I put in a brand new filter. And once I've done that, this is the one that's good to go for the week. This one, I just run over uh, cold water, run through it, get all the uh, dust and whatever off, put that to the side so it can dry. Uh, and you're good to go. So once you've gone ahead and emptied this, you put in your new filter for the week. You make sure that your brush roll is completely clear then you are pretty much good to go. If you do just those few things pretty regularly, um, once a week, uh, twice a month, however frequently you use your vacuum, uh, then you will be good to go. All right, so that about wraps up this video. Just wanted to go through some quick tips and tricks on how to maintain your robot vacuum. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and support this channel by pressing the subscribe button. So press the bell icon if you uh, want to make sure you are notified when new content is posted. Finally, from one tech enthusiast to another, God bless.